Lesson 192. I have a function God would have me fill. Hi there. Are you ready to dive deep once again into the idea of what our true purpose is? Today we will explore exactly that and receive a clear explanation of why we are here on Earth. If you have followed this video series or the lessons of the workbook for students in A Course in Miracles, this won't be the first time you've received such a clear explanation. And yet, don't we still find ourselves entangled with our current resistances? Don't we find ourselves trapped within the usual habits of our day-to-day -day lives? Let's take a step today to set ourselves free from them with today's Lesson 192. I have a function God would have me fill. It is the will of God our Father that we complete Himself, and that our true inner self is His sacred Son. It's the will of our Father that we forever remain as pure as He is, created out of love and in love preserved, extending love, and creating in the name of love, forever united with God and with our own true self. Beautiful words, right? But what can such a function mean in a world filled with envy, hatred, and attack? That's why we have a function in this world on its own terms because we couldn't understand a language far beyond our simple understanding. Forgiveness is our function here. Forgiveness is not God's creation, because it's the means by which untruth is undone, by which we let illusions go. Forgiveness is not God's creation, because who would pardon heaven? But here on earth, we need the means to let illusions go. That means is forgiveness. Creation merely waits for your return to be acknowledged, not to be complete. Here in this world, we cannot even conceive creation. It has no meaning here. The closest concept we can conceive of is forgiveness. Born in heaven, it has no form at all. Yet God created one who has the power to translate the formless into form. What he makes are dreams but these are dreams so close to waking that the light of day already shines in them, and eyes that are already opening can see the joyful sights they bring. Forgiveness gently looks at all the things that don't exist in heaven and makes them disappear, leaving the world clean and ready for the Word of God to come and replace all the senseless symbols that were written there before. Forgiveness is the means by which the fear of death is overcome because it takes away guilt, thus removing its hold. Forgiveness allows us to perceive the body for what it is, a teaching tool to be put aside when learning is complete, but certainly not something that can change who we truly are. The mind without the body cannot make mistakes. The mind without the body cannot think that it will die or that it can be attacked. Anger becomes impossible, and terror as well. What fears could still assail us when we are free from the source of all attack? Only forgiveness can make us realize that the body is not our home. Only forgiveness can bring back the peace that God wanted for His Holy Son. Only forgiveness can persuade us to look again upon our holiness. Once we have let go of all our anger, we will clearly see that Christ's vision and the gift of sight come to us without any cost or sacrifice. Only the pain is lifted from our sick and tortured minds. Could this be unwelcome? Could this be feared? Isn't that something we should instead hope for? Isn't that something to be accepted with gratitude and joy? We are all one, and we don't have to give up anything. We have indeed been given everything by God. Yet, we need forgiveness to truly see this. Without it, we are lost in darkness, using flawed reasoning to justify our rage and attacks. Our understanding is so limited that what we think we understand is just a misunderstanding caused by mistakes. We are lost, surrounded by shifting dreams and fearful thoughts, our eyes shut tight against the light, our minds engaged in worshipping what does not exist. Who can be reborn in Christ? Only those who have forgiven everyone they see, think of, or imagine. Can we be set free if we keep imprisoning anyone? A jailer is not free, for he is bound together with his prisoner. If we are the jailer, we are not free either, because we are bound together with our prisoner. We must make sure they don't escape, 
so we spend our time watching them. The bars that limit them become the world we live in. And so it is on their freedom that our liberty depends. Therefore, hold no one prisoner. Release instead of bind, for thus are you made free. That's why we need to release everyone. Let's hold no one prisoner. Let's release instead of bind, so we can truly attain our own freedom. The way is simple. Every time we feel a stab of anger, we must realize that we hold a sword above our heads, and it is up to us to decide if it will fall or be averted as we condemn our brothers or set them free. This way, each person who tempts us to be angry can actually be our savior from the prison of death. We owe them thanks, not pain. Shall we repeat this concept? In the words of the Course, each one who seems to tempt you to be angry represent your Savior from the prison house of death. And so you owe him thanks instead of pain. So let's be merciful today. The Son of God deserves our mercy, the Son of God within us and within our brothers. He is asking us to accept the path to freedom. Deny him not. God's love for him belongs to us. Our function here on earth is only to forgive Him so that we can recognize Him as our true self. He is as God created Him, and we are what He is. Let's forgive Him for His sins now, and we will see that we are one with Him. Can you see we are talking about our brothers here? Our function here on earth is only to forgive them so we can recognize in them our true self. Can you see we are talking about ourself? I have a function God would have me fill. I have a function God would have me fill. I have a function God would have me fill. Isn't this incredible as always? Aren't you feeling speechless listening to these beautiful words and concepts? Just remember, forgiveness from the perspective of A Course in Miracles is something different from merely pardoning others for some perceived wrongdoings they are supposed to have committed. That would imply the perception of a moral inferiority of theirs and a moral superiority of ours. Thus, that would imply judgment, that would imply separation. Forgiveness in A Course in Miracles is an extension of our perception, an expansion beyond this world of illusions to the ultimate reality. Forgiveness comes with the understanding of what is true and what are the false appearances of the illusions of this world. Forgiveness comes with the perception of the inherent innocence of the deeper reality of ourselves and of our brothers, beyond any perception of guilt we might be tempted to attribute to anyone we fail to perceive as not separate from us. Forgiveness is a correction in our own perception. We might not like what we perceive happening on the surface of this world of illusions, but we can extend our perception to the ultimate reality of the love of who we are, the love of what our very self is and the love of what the self of our brothers is. It is the same self. It is the same love. We can choose to focus on this reality instead of staying on the surface of our physical senses and our mental understanding of what we perceive happening outside of us. There's nothing happening outside of us. We can choose to see things differently. That's our function. And that's our salvation. That's our happiness. We won't find happiness within the empty promises of this world of illusions. Choosing to fulfill our function is our only way to happiness. But if we still have a hard time forgiving or letting go of all our grievances against other people, let's remember the idea that this lesson illustrated for us, the jailer is in prison along with their prisoner. Therefore, hold no one prisoner. Release instead of bind, for thus are you made free. You're doing great. See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Quick note before you go. Making these videos is a labor of love, but it's still financially challenging. If you've found value in what you've watched, please consider supporting with a donation. Even the humblest contribution means the world and ensures the continuation of these daily lessons. Thank you for your generosity. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? 
please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.